Y'all already know the vibe, man. Back again, you know what I'm saying? We got the 01 CR80, you know what I'm saying? That vintage throwback CR80, y'all. Like I said, I haven't seen a CR80, a clean CR80 like this in a minute, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, back then I had a CR80 too, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I had a nice little CR80 back then, bro. And this might remind me of it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, he bought the CR80. Um, he pretty much, there's somebody out there hanging out on the moped. Sound like a moped, but yeah, man. He bought the um, the CR80 to me or whatever, y'all. Um, and he said pretty much he had bought the bike for 1700 You know what I'm saying? He bought the bike for 1700 um, with a bill of sale. Um, y'all leave a comment on that. Let me know if y'all um, if y'all think that was a deal. You know what I'm saying? 1700 for the CR80, even though it's clean with a bill of sale. But yeah, he said um, the bike was running perfect and everything. The bike wasn't knocking or doing nothing. Um, then he said he let um, his homeboys ride. He let two different homeboys, um, I guess, ride the bike or whatever. And I guess while they were riding the bike, you know what I'm saying, they fell. Each one of them fell. The first one fell. Then he let the other one ride. Then the other homeboy fell. You know what I'm saying? Um, then he said uh, when they bought the bike to, back to him and he went to start his bike up in the morning, he said that's when he heard this little, this little, um, like a little rattling noise or a little, um, a knocking noise. But first thing, bro, I don't, bro, his friends had to fall hard or something, y'all. But I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start it up real quick and let y'all hear how the bike sounded real quick. You know what I'm saying? See if it's first kick. definitely gonna get to the issue we're gonna see what's going on with it see why it's making that little rattling noise you know what i'm saying i'm gonna first start with the pipe make sure the pipe is not making the noise you know then we're gonna move to taking the cylinder off if we have to if it's not the pipe or the brackets or anything you know what i'm saying but yeah y'all that's pretty much it man y'all leave a comment though y'all let me know what y'all think um do y'all feel like his homeboy really failed and made the bike start making this noise or did he just buy a lemon or something like that y'all just leave a comment on that but yeah other than that y'all already know the vibe and we're gonna start taking Taking the seat, I mean, well, I'm gonna start with the pipe, you know what I'm saying? But um, if it's not the pipe, y'all already know the vibe. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all, but we're gonna go from there. All right, I'm tapping back in real quick with y'all. Um, one thing I noticed, um, you know, while taking the pipe off or whatever, I noticed the motor is a little loose a little bit, y'all. I grab the pipe, you can see the motor is, is moving. You know what I'm saying? His motor is definitely loose. It looked like like it wasn't tightened up all the way or something like that. Yeah, his motor is kind of loose, y'all. You can see the whole motor kind of moving. See? That's crazy. His motor is a little loose. All right, y'all, but one thing I'm gonna try to do real quick, I'm gonna take the pipe off. It's already, I already got the screws off, so I'm just gonna snap, snap the pipe off real quick. I'm just gonna snap the pipe off, y'all. There we go. I'm gonna pull the pipe off. I'm gonna, um, let me see, I'm gonna check these screws real quick. These little three screws up here. Make sure these screws tight. Okay, these screws. Let's see. Get that one, that last one up in there. All right, y'all, so the screws is tight. So now one thing I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna start it without the pipe. I'm gonna start the bike up, y'all, without the pipe, and we're gonna see how it sounds. See if it still make that little rattle noise, y'all.
not rattling with the pipe off. So maybe I'm gonna see if I can put a spring on the pipe real quick and see if that spring will help the um help it start rattling a little bit. I'll see if we could adjust that pipe and make it a little more firm on there. Cause it is definitely I don't hear no knocking noise now without the um without the pipe on, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah y'all, we're gonna we gonna we gonna see what happens. I'm gonna try that out. But y'all already know the vibe. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all. I got his um the side fender off real quick just to show y'all something. So I got I got the new I got the spring put on there, you know what I'm saying? The spring put on there. Got the screws back in. The front pipe nice and nice and firm, nice and tight. You know what I'm saying? Tighten the motor up. The motor not loose no more. So one thing I noticed though, y'all, is um one thing I'm gonna have to tighten up. I'm gonna snug and tighten is the um the muffler, the silencer, you know what I'm saying? That the silencer is moving a little bit, which could cause a noise too. So I'm just gonna tighten that up. But other than that, y'all, um, I'm gonna tighten the muffler up and then we can see what happened. And hopefully we can get from the V-touch too, going to clean the copper and get, give them a nice little tune up. But other than that, y'all already know the vibe. I'm gonna tap back in. Y'all already see the vibes, man. Tap back in. As y'all can see, I took the copper off real quick. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna, um, just gonna blow through the copper real quick, do a copper to clean and um a tune up, you know what I'm saying? A V-Test tune up. But one thing I noticed, y'all, is that he his brake pads is definitely over with, you know what I'm saying? His brake pads is touching the rotor. Yeah, his brake pads over with, y'all. So he he definitely might need some new um brake pads, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're gonna focus on the copper and see how it sounds when we start it back up, y'all. See if it's still making that rattle noise. But yeah, y'all already know the vibes. So let's get to it. Um, everything put back together, you know what I'm saying? I'm tapping back in, y'all. Um, I went ahead and tightened this chain up, you know what I'm saying? The chain was loose. Um, but everything else pretty much, um, one thing I did notice is back brakes. He's gonna need some new back brake pads, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we're gonna see if, if, if that thing got the V-touch. The pipe is cold, give him a nice little tune up. Let's see what happens. First kick now. Let me make sure the gas on too, y'all. Oh, the gas is off. Oh, I had the gas off, y'all. My fault. <laughs> y'all let me know, do y'all hear a ticket noise still? Let me know what y'all think. I think I like a full stroke. Yeah, as y'all can see, man, that thing got a nice little full stroke, like an idle, like a full stroke, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, a nice low idle that's not too high like it was before, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing about a bike, man. You want your bike to idle real good, you know, nice and smooth and a nice low idle. You don't want your idle too high because that'll make the bike sound like, you know, it won't sound good, you know what I'm saying? It sound like you, like you, your idle is too high, you which it will sound like. But yeah, man, hey, y'all let me know in the comments. Do y'all feel like, do y'all feel like y'all still hear a noise? Uh, do y'all feel like, the bike, the bike sound good now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's ready, it's good. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want y'all to leave a comment on that. Uh, do y'all feel like he still should rebuild his motor? You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know. Y'all feel like he still should rebuild his motor? Cause everything on the bike is tight now. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, y'all y'all pretty much leave a comment on it. And um, yeah, like I said, I went ahead and checked the oil. I checked the oil, y'all. Oil is full, fresh coolant. Um, yeah, chain tight. Yeah, and I gave it a tune up, gave it the V touch, you know what I'm saying? Did the V touch tune up on the carpet, y'all. But yeah, y'all um y'all let me know what y'all think on, on, on the bike overall. But um 
you know, last thing I would do is put the brake pads on it. Like I said, you don't got no back brace. Back brace not good, y'all. So I'm not, you know, in the test drive video, I'm not going to be able to too much, you know, I'm not trying to get pink no more. And um, one thing he did mention to me, y'all, was that um he run his bike 40 to 1. You know what I'm saying? 40 to 1. I, I run 32 to 1. That's that's the the normal ratio for a two-stroke, y'all. And let me know what y'all run in the comments, man. But, yeah, other than that, y'all already know the vibe, man. Y'all leave a comment. You need your bike fit. Get it in gear cycle. You know what I'm saying? The VTEC South Florida vibe. But we're going to go from there.